guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I am doing a collab video and this is going to be my top five favorite uh, high-end makeup brands. So if you guys would like to join me and see what my top five favorite high-end makeup brands are, keep on watching. All right, so uh, this collab here, I had asked uh, some of the ladies from the MAB group, which if you don't know what MAB stands for, it's uh, Middle-Aged Beauties. And there's several ladies there that I decided to go ahead and join me. So I'll have their links down below so you can check everybody out. Their top five favorite makeup brands are in the high-end category. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first brand I think I'm going to go ahead and talk about is a company that I have recently gotten to know a little more better, and um, I do get products sent to me. Now, I'm not picking this company because I do get products sent to me. I have purchased their products as well uh, with my own money before too, but I do get some products sent to me. as I, I would have to put them in my top five because... I really have been enjoying them. Um, some items are some of my favorites um, that I, I really have fallen in love with. And that company would be Pure Cosmetics. Now, <clears throat> Pure Cosmetics, I actually didn't know too much about them. I believe they were called Pure Minerals even maybe at one point or still maybe are called that. So a lot of these brands I really got to know from QVC or you know, on here on YouTube itself from a lot of the other beauties and everything. Hopefully I am not washed out. If I am, I apologize. I'm kind of filming an evening time. I do have my little ring light on, but I had to turn it another way. So it's not like right on me. So it didn't, but yeah. But anyway, so I got to really know them from the YouTube community pretty much. And then um, next before I know it, they had sent me a starter kit and then it kind of went from there. They've sent me several things here and here and there throughout. One of my favorite products that I really love from them, and it's in this palette here, the Love Your Selfie palette, which I, I love this palette. The eyeshadows, I've never tried them. This is my first time trying their eyeshadows and I, I think they work really good. And I really love this mascara the um, fully charged. This is probably one in my top five favorite, kind of like favorite mascaras is the fully charged. I think it works exceptionally well. Um, their lip glosses are really nice. I've had their lip glosses and that. There's like a lip gloss in here. Their blushes are nice. I have another blush that I um, got in a little compact and it's really nice and there's one in here. So their blushes are really nice. Um, but the mascara would, would be one of the top qualities items that I love from them. And also two other ones are foundations from them. One is their powder foundation, which this is the four in one powder foundation. This is in their, um, 10, 10 year anniversary. So that's why it has all this blingage. It's celebrating their 10 year anniversary of this powder foundation. And I did discuss it in my favorites. And it, I'm not always big on powder foundations, but like I said, they step up the game. And that one's a really nice one. And probably one of my favorite foundations is the Hydro Fluid from Pure Cosmetics. I love this foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations. So those are some of the products that um, are favorites of mine and just really getting to them. Moving along to my next brand that I'm going to talk to you guys about is Laura Geller. Laura Geller, I came across on QVC and I seen her on there talking about her spackle, which that is a real, she has, her spackle primer is a, a great primer. It's, it's one of my favorite primers. Then she starts showing her blushes and oh my goodness, I would have to say her blushes are my favorite from her. I love her blushes. And this one's here in pink grapefruit. I'm just going to show you like one of them. It's in pink Blush and Brighten and Pink Grapefruit. It's probably one of her top uh, blushes that she has out. And here it is here. It's a really pretty blush. You can see my cat back there. It's a really pretty blush. I really love it. So I've really gotten into her blushes and I have a whole blush collection. 
Um, I love her some of her lipsticks, which this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I would probably get another. I think you, you can still get it. It's one of her split. She has like a split where you get one side. It's lighter than the other. So you can top them together, use one or the other. And this one's in Caribbean Kiss. And this is one of my favorite, um, you know, lip lipsticks that she has out there. I haven't tried her new ones. Wouldn't mind trying her new ones. Um, her eyeshadows. This one's one of her baked gelato eyeshadows. Um, I'm wondering if this is where Gilded Honey came in play because this is caramel, but it sure looks like Gilded Honey highlight. So I'm not sure if that's how it became in play. I'm kind of wondering now because this is actually caramel. One of her gilt or baked gelato, and it's in caramel. Her Balance and Brighten foundation. This is another kind of powdered foundation. Love, love, love this. I use this a lot. Um, I mostly, I've used it several times by itself. The Pure Cosmetics one, I like using by itself a little bit more. And maybe Manly's 4-in-1. This one I have used by itself, but I do like to use it more to um, add as a setting powder or to add a little more extra coverage than by itself. Uh, another product that you probably seen me talk about not long ago and just recently is this concealer, her Dream Creams concealer. I love her concealers. I've heard great things about some of her other ones. Laura Geller, she's always been one of my favorites and blushes is my weakness with her. I love her blushes. The next brand I'm going to talk about, I did learn from here on YouTube and that is Too Faced. Cosmetics. Oh my goodness, I'm super, super glad that I had learned a lot from uh, about the company because I never would have probably heard of them. You know, I have quite a few products. I love their palettes, their eyeshadow palettes and everything. I think they have really exceptional eye eyeshadow palettes. Some can be hit and miss. Oh, I would say some can be okay. Um, one I've used a lot and I think it's just when summertime comes, and I don't know, just the colors call, call me, put it that way. These, these colors call my name. And it was from their, um, what is it? The Bourgeois Summer Palette. I have, I have the Summer Palette and then I have this one. And there's like just, um, I think like one different color in here maybe or a couple. I can't quite really remember to be honest. But here's the colors right here. There's like a really pretty pink color and blue uh, mermaid shade uh, sunbeam I love this palette I used it uh, quite a bit in several different tutorials and everything it's just one of my favorites from them uh, so I, I really love a lot of their palettes I have quite a few collections my favorite primer is actually in their line and that is the hangover primer this is one of my favorite primers i love it um it would definitely be in my top uh faves for primers their chocolate soleil bronzer i have this little guy right now but i have it i have it in several different palettes as well but um i use this guy quite a bit just to use them up but the chocolate soleil bronzer it is absolutely my most favorite bronzer smelling like cocoa i can't can't uh, deny that one. One of my favorite highlighters is the Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter. I love this highlighter. You get two different sides. This one, there is a peach one now, but this has pink and then like a pearl shade. And I just sometimes mix them all together. I love these little blushes here. They're little sweetheart blushes. That's a heart shape like this. Uh, this one's in Peach Beach. This is one of my favorite ones. It's in a peachy, peachy shade. <clears throat> color you can use all three you can use one or the other it's just I, I love these blushes I have two or three of these I can't quite remember lastly what one of my favorite things are that they came out with is the melted lip products which I do have fig on right now god I'm hoping if I am washed out I hate that I apologize but I didn't have any other time to film so I'm sorry if it came out wishy-washy hopefully not but anyway, the Melted Lipstick, the Fig, this is Fig. I have several different other shades, but I love their Melted Lipsticks. So those, that's one of the products that I really love a lot from them. All right, the next brand, again, 
um, YouTube, uh, I guess I should say YouTube made me buy it, as some people say, and that's kind of this company here I came across from YouTube, and that would be the Lorac Company. Um, I came across them here on YouTube. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I have the first one, the second one, and just recently got the uh, Mega 3, which I did do a review and all that kind of stuff. I could put that down below. This one I used a lot. I mean, I pulled this one out a lot within the year and everything. And I, I just, I love their eyeshadows. From when I swatched the unzipped um, palettes, they seemed just as good as from their pro line. I love their eyeshadows. I love the colors that come out. I like, I love the blendability. I, I love their shimmers. Their shimmers work so great for me. Um, I, I just, I love their eyeshadows. They're, one of my other favorite things from them is their blushes. I did see they have another blush palette. I got this one about a year, like last year. It's their uh, Lorac Cheek, and it looks like it's it came out whenever the unzipped came out, the golden one, and oh, just I love their blushes. They're so pigmented. They're simply gorgeous. They work so well for me. I just, I love their blushes. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite blushes of all time is this baked one here that they have that you can still get on their site. I think you can get them in Ulta. This one's in Flaunt and it's one of their baked ones. This is Flaunt. Oh my goodness. I just, it's like a beautiful hot pink and it gives you this beautiful sheen to your cheeks and everything. This is my favorite, favorite blush from them. And I love, and I'm getting more of these, they're Lorac, the lip glosses. These are the Alter Ego. I love their lipsticks, but these lip glosses are amazing. If you do not like a sticky gloss, you will love these. And I did see they had a box set for $25, and I'm totally going to get that. I think I'm going to get that with the blush, the um, blush palette. And then lastly, my most favorite brand of all, should not be no surprise, is Mally Beauty. As much as I talk about her in general, her makeup, share it on here, show, whatever. I have everything, well, not everything for Mally, but if I had to go somewhere and go away for a while, I'd be okay with everything of hers. Like I have her eyeliners, I have blushes, I have highlighters, I have her eyeliners, I have eyeshadow palettes. Um, I did say eyeliner, her mascaras, um, foundations, and I, I just, I have all this, all kinds of stuff from her, but I'm going to show you some of my favorite things from her. One of them is her concealer. This one is the Age Rebel Concealer. It comes in a nice little jar like that, and it's a really nice creamy um, concealer. One of my favorite concealers. And one of my favorites from her. I do know she has some new ones out, so I won't mind trying them. But this one is one of my favorites. Her foundation, oh my gosh. She floored me with her new foundation. And this is the Flawless Finish Transforming Effect. And it's her new one. I did a review on this, but you know, it has that little door. And then it has the little mesh thing in there and everything. And this is my favorite foundation from her. I love it. It looks so natural and it looks so good. Another thing, I love her highlighter. Her blushes are great too, but one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite things that I love that she came out with was her effortless airbrush. Like she had some eyeshadows and she has some blushes and her highlight. Um, she does have eyeshadows like this. I do have them. She's well known for her highlight because a lot of them were you know, um, it kind of does look like, I have to admit, Gilded Honey. <laughs> it looks the same almost as that caramel shade that you see there. <laughs> so they do, I, I didn't realize that until, you know, recently. But her mascaras, I love her voluminous, uh, uh, volumizing mascara. That is one of my favorite mascaras. But I'm actually really liking the More Is More mascara. And that's what I have on my eyes today. Um, 
on my, you know, my, on my eyelashes today, I'm really liking the more is more one. Um, the more you work with it and like once you break open and get it working more and more, it's, it's really nice. I love, love, love her eyeliners. Her eyeliners are by far some of my favorite eyeliners. The ones I love the most are her Evercolor Starlight waterproof eyeliners. They're like in these pencils. You could get them like this or um, you you could see them in Ulta as long as it says Evercolor, um, as long as it says Evercolor Starlight waterproof mask or waterproof um, eyeliners. Yeah, that's those, and they're just they're very pigmented. They stay on my waterline really well. They're like butter. They just glide along on the waterline or even on the top part of my lid. Like whenever I put you know like put my eyeliner there. And then my very other favorite thing is is her. Um, Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. This is probably the most unique and one of the one of the best things that she came out and created with um, to this day. I would say it's so different. It's much better than putting setting powder on your face. Um, it you know it just doesn't leave that white casty kind of stuff on you. It just it's really nice if you want to diminish your pores and everything and just have a nice airbrushed flawless look then yeah this is this is really nice and those are my top five favorite makeup brands that i do love i do as soon as i see they have something new out i feel like i have to go and get it um it's just it's one of those there are some of the companies that i just gravitate to the most but anyway beauties thanks so much for joining me i really appreciate that do not forget to go and check the others down below. I will have their links to see what their um, top five favorite uh, high-end brands are. I'm kind of curious. I can't wait to see what they all had picked out. So thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love it so much and that would help me out a lot. Got to go tend to my kitty as you can hear. And um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week. I'd love to have you. As always, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.